up guys this is Adam from 3dmodelsworld.com welcome to another Maya tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how we can create this really nice uh, space scene so it's not gonna be really much uh, complicated things to do we're gonna use the X chat and I'm gonna show you how you can use it in, a, in an interesting way to create this kind of effects so without further delay let's get started this is the scene I have as you can see I have these uh, rocks asteroids here and then I have the main one right here let's maybe push it front a little bit and then uh, I have, let's see, in this rocks group, I have 683 rocks. So that's pretty good. We have this like nice field that we're gonna be flying through. And then uh, we have this, of course, main guy. And now I don't wanna like animate this uh, by keyframing it. And, you know, I don't wanna do that. I want like everything to happen dynamically. So that's where we're gonna use the X shutter and be very handy to do this. So first, before we do anything, we want this asteroid field to be moving. If I press play, it's just static and that's, you know, not interesting like at all. We want it to be like moving as it's floating in space. So we will do this using the help of X Shatter. So first what we're going to do uh, is minimize this general settings and then go to the directional uh, explore. And why I'm using the directional, not like demolition, because demolition, we only have the gravity to control the motion and I don't want gravity in space. So the directional to have like uh, another field that can help us. So I'll show you. So let's select everything and then convert to dynamics. Okay, and then let's press generate. Okay, and now it's complete. So let's open this group and then look at it. Yeah, so we have the sim control. Let's scale it up. Oh, that's too much. Let's go a little bit. And then uh, let's select this extra field. So this directional, we don't need to worry about it right now. You know, this um, we're not gonna animate this much, but this field is gonna be the most important thing. So let's scale this field up. And I wanna just scale it to cover this whole section, mainly these asteroids here. Let's just cover it. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's just make sure we, we have everything in here. And then what we're gonna do is let's we're gonna start simulation. Let's just give it a few frames, like frame four, and then click key selection, one frame, press one, and then let's scope through. Everything looks good. And then if I press play, of course uh, nothing really gonna happen because I I only have no gravity, no direction. Like there's nothing. But what we, I wanna do is this field that's what i'm going to be doing the animation so this now magnitude that's what's going to influence these guys so if i put it like let's say 100 and if i press play you can see immediately how they start moving everything start moving but now it's going to keep accelerating keep accelerating so this is going to be really tough and we don't want that and by the way guys it's going to show you you can actually do negative values so if you go negative 100 you're gonna create some kind of like a like a black hole something you know like everything get uh, get sucked into this one point and based on the distance so that the farther it takes longer time so it's pretty cool so now everything is combining into this one piece now i don't want my computer to have a hard time here so because i'm recording but you you get the point it's pretty cool and also you can adjust uh, the shape cylinder or or let's say torus was pretty interesting uh, torus if we press play because uh, the torus it have all these objects in here and kind of start to create some really cool effects now they're ga gonna all get shaped by the torus and start doing interesting stuff so but for now we're just gonna keep it cube uh, and then we're gonna make it maybe like 20. I want them to be like floating around. I don't want them to be moving too much So press play and then let's see how this speed looks like for us That looks pretty good. So maybe around Maybe just uh, maybe 45 I would say around 30 Just key it and then let's fade it here to like zero because I don't want them to go away too much so once we key the uh, magnitude to zero uh, whatever speed they are in this is going to keep that constant speed so now this is going to be their constant speed forever so let's see are we happy with this do you want it to be slower or faster
let me extend timeline and then uh, I think it's it should be good so now they're moving like that because I don't want them to go too far off because we want this guy to go through them so I'm just gonna quickly look it seems pretty good they're not really moving too fast if it's moving too fast you can always uh, lower lower the magnitude so now it's 20 we can make it 15 so that's gonna be like uh, you know not as much that's, that's pretty good that's nice so if we put the camera here like they look like it's nice they're floating around peacefully until this asteroid is gonna come and destroy everything okay so now what we're gonna do we can select this one and we're gonna do a similar thing so convert to dynamics generate and then done so now what we're gonna do is kind of like the opposite we want to focus more into the actual control this arrow so if I scale it up now this one is important in this case because I want this direction to be controlled and uh, this field we don't need to bother by it so select this arrow and then let's rotate it forward the direction where we want it to go so let's go like straight forward like this and then the same thing let's go like a few frames here and then sim start and then start next frame we don't need to worry about gravity however we want to animate this one or at least give it value the directional strength so directional strength let's make it like 500 okay so this is how much force is going to be pushed and let's press play so now this guy start moving 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 toward the field and now it hits but they kind of although they're much smaller than it it's they kind of like affected it a lot let's continue the play you know like they they kind of like influence this uh, path a lot and that doesn't feel realistic because this rock is way bigger and but the other ones are smaller and still they kind of like they significantly influence this path and that doesn't feel right and the reason for this is i can show you guys if you select this arrow for this group you're gonna see the masses one and if you select this arrow here you're gonna see also the masses one so that's mean we're telling bullet physics that this rock and this rock like this rock and then this rock is exactly the same weight so that's how it's treated they affect them a lot and we don't want to do that we want to like tell him that this rock is much much bigger so or heavier so we can do this by like make it like 50 for example instead of one so it's like this one's 50 times heavier than these now uh, the directional strength is going to be influenced by it because now it's a heavier object so it's going to take more time to push it forward you know and we don't want to wait so what we can do is we'll make it 5000 so increase it like a lot so this way the strength is uh, faster and you you're gonna give it a little bit time to process the acceleration but then it's gonna pick up the speed so now i'm playing and let me pause for a second here and then extend my timeline to 600 because i don't want it to once to reach here to stop okay so let's see so now we have this guy is a heavier and okay so now you can see he's really like destroying them and doesn't really alter the path much at all so that's pretty cool and I have like some nice rotation on it like really slow gone it hits it and everything gets in way you could destroy it and the cool thing is these guys interact with each other if they hit each other it's gonna like they're gonna adjust its, its own path so that's cool so that's you know basically it like that's how you can do something like that effect and then what i want to do if we want to rotate it like have it more rotation we can play with like a quick way to do this if i create a cube and just i move it around like this uh, and then like, you know i can like try to cheat by putting the cube at the beginning here 
but maybe let's lower it down like that i want basically to, to the cube to hit this guy to hit the cube a little bit while it's going uh, but i just don't want a big hit just enough to kind of affect its um, rotation let's scale it this way then let's go to the x shatter go general settings add static and then let's press play and then see what can happen so now it's moving it hits this cube now start rotating rotating so so this rotation should keep picking like keep going you know so now it's gonna hit these objects on a different angle so you can see it's keep rotating so so that's pretty cool like so this way is a quick cheat into how we can create this like rotation So yeah, you see, it's pretty cool, it's pretty straightforward. You can add as many obstacles as you want. And also you can like, like let's say some of these uh, hit each other. You can duplicate them, duplicate the geo, and then uh, create a demolition on it. And then parent the demolition group to this, uh, let's say, this object. And then once it's hit, you can just switch the visibility in one frame and then activate the demolition. So it just breaks into like a lot of pieces. So that's what I wanted to show you guys, it's just a quick tutorial, quick tips and how you can create like a space scene and create like an asteroid going through and destroying other smaller ones. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful, I hope it give you some interesting uh, points how you can do this kind of effects really quickly and uh, please let me know if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for supporting us and have a great day.